Hello, this is Mark with BedBugSupply.com, and today we'll be going over JT and Kills Bed Bugs Powder, which is available on our website. Uh, before we begin, we have the product label and the MSDS available in PDF format on our website. You can download that, always adhere to that for uh, safe and effective usage. Um, using powder during a bed bug job is a must. Uh, it goes into deep into cracks and crevices. What it basically does is it, uh, it adheres to the exoskeleton of a bed bug and it dries them out over time. It also makes them more susceptible to absorbing active ingredients such as your powder, as your sprays when you're doing a bed bug job, making your, your treatment overall more effective. Um, what we have is we have different sizes here. We have a uh, seven ounce, uh, we have a four pound, and we have a, a 10 pound pail. Uh, the 10 pound pail is enough to do uh, an entire hotel. This is about half a hotel. And then a couple of these will do easily a uh, four to five bedroom house. So when it comes to doing a treatment, uh, less is more. It doesn't take a lot of powder to do a job. Uh, for example, uh, there's a lot of videos out there talking about you know how to apply the powder, dumping it all over the floor and uh, in areas where you can actually see it. Uh, we don't recommend that. It can get stirred up in the air, become airborne, and uh, you really don't want to breathe it in. So when you're applying it, make sure you adhere to all the instructions of the label, wear a dust mask, gloves, and, uh, and make sure that you take all the precautions that are labeled with the product. Um, what you want to do basically when you do it right is uh, you don't want to be able to see the product once you've applied it. Uh, that means going into electrical outlets, uh, you know, switch plates, face covers, and uh, get deep into those. Um, if you ever actually get some of it on your floor or on the carpeting, you can always take a damp cloth or a HEPA vacuum cleaner to remove the excess powder. So it's really gonna be basically where the bed bugs are hiding. Uh, they're not gonna be you know, hiding in the middle of your floor or on top of your couch. They're gonna be deep inside cracks and crevices, which is where you wanna apply the, the product properly. I'm gonna go into greater detail a little bit more about actually how to do the product, how to apply it uh, by showing the, uh, the duster here and how to, to add the dust and how to apply it. I'm going to do an example here of uh, an important place where you need to put uh, the dust. Um, this is the electrical plate here. They can get deep inside of here. They can hide out, reproduce. Um, it's definitely a hot spot for bed bugs. Um, we're going to be using the Kills Bed Bugs powder, of course, which is EPA registered, as well as the uh, duster. Um, these are both included with the bed bug kit. Um, how to use the duster is a common question that we get. It looks kind of like a pipe. Um, it's like where you would put the dust here, you take the, uh, the powder here, you fill it about halfway, with powder, okay, once you have the powder inside, you go ahead and close the lid. Now if you hold it like this, it allows the powder to shoot out. If you put it upside down, it's kind of like an aerosol. It comes out more loosely, like a cloud. When you're doing the electrical plates, you want to keep it like this, so the uh, the cap is up, and then you have the applicator uh, tip right here. So we're going to go into the electrical plate. It's real simple. You just want to take it, and you want to do four shots. One, two, three, Four. You see a little bit of powder come out the side. It's getting deep inside the cracks and crevices inside your electrical plate. And that's how you dust each one of the electrical plates. Then you put it back on and uh, you do that the same thing for each plate or uh, switch plate in your room. Another example of a crevice, you just kind of want to go around your room and, and look for potential crevices where bed bugs could be hiding. Uh, this here is a pocket door. Um, there's plenty of voids for them to hide inside. So we're going to take just the duster and just put a couple, couple pumps in here. So it doesn't take a lot. And that's it. Over here we have where the uh, the bottom of the uh, cabinet is is meeting the baseboard here. It hasn't been caulked very well. You can either caulk this or another example of a, uh, a crack that you could apply into. You just kind of go right to the crack and give it one pump. 
it'll inject it into the wall and get behind that crevice back there. So if bed bugs were back there, it would, it would stick and adhere to them and do the exact same thing. The final demonstration I'm going to show you is along the, uh, the baseboards of your room. Of course, we have carpet here. And a lot of videos, I show you how to just kind of pour powder along the edges here in mounds. All they're going to do basically is just avoid those areas. You want to do a fine dusting. We don't recommend to pull the carpeting up, but I'm going to show you how the carpeting looks down below so you see exactly what I'm talking about. Here you have a tack strip, and then you have like a deep crevice down here uh, below the baseboard. This is a great place for bed bugs to hide. So, what we want to do is go along the room and inject the powder underneath the baseboard. About every six to eight inches, you want to go underneath and give it a couple pumps and work your way around the room. And with this, you won't have powder all over the floor. It's a much safer and more effective way to apply the powder where the bed bugs most likely are. And that's our final treatment with the uh, powder as a demonstration. If you have any questions, you can reach us online at bedbugsupply.com or toll free at 866-238-9868.